Hey friends, so I'm sitting here on a park bench. Um, I'm in New York City um, and I decided to make a morning message because um, there's something that I'd really like all of us to understand. And if our organization is going to expand and grow, it's something we need to come to understand. And I'll try to illustrate it to you in a couple different ways. First of which, March 5th in China is honor or learn from Lei Fang Day. And Lei Fang was a member of the Chinese military uh, and he died. And when he died, they found his diaries and they discovered that he had done a huge amount of volunteer work, helping the elderly, uh, rescuing people that were in need, uh, that he was, he was a, a very, very heroic person who went out of his way to help other people. And he justified everything he did in the name of Mao Zedong thought and Marxism Leninism, and that his diary was full of him talking about the things he had done, which other people did not know about. Um, other people didn't know what Lei Fang had done, uh, but he did it with an optimistic spirit and in the name of helping China become a strong socialist country. And no one even knew about it until he died. Uh, and so he became kind of the model uh, of what a very dedicated, good communist would be. Um, and, you know, when he died, you know, he got into a car, a truck accident, his truck hit a telephone pole, he died, and they found his diary and they discovered what a great communist he had been. Um, and he became kind of the model. And every year on March 5th in China, the kids go and clean up the parks and they do volunteer work and they sing a song in honor of Lei Fang. And that kind of points to something that um, I've been trying to get people to understand, uh, which is that, uh, you know, the dead are still speaking. Uh, they're still speaking through their deeds. And that, you know, when you die, uh, you will inevitably die. Uh, when you die, uh, after you die, um, you know, there may be, there probably will be some kind of memorial service. And at that memorial service, people are gonna talk about what you did. And they're not gonna talk about awards that you won, and they're not gonna talk about great laurels that were poured on you. They're gonna talk about what you meant to them as an individual person. You know, what difference you made in their life, times you were there for them uh, that made a difference, things that you did in the community, the connections that you had, the spiritual love that you had. And they're gonna talk about how you worked to make the world a better place. And that is what will live on when you die. And Lei Fang, you know, his deeds lived on, the fact that he'd helped so many people, the fact that he'd done so much to help China, and he'd done it with this selfless communist spirit, that's why he's he's honored. And that, uh, you know, in the communist movement, they talk about being a real Jimmy Higgins. William Z. Foster wrote about Jimmy Higgins uh, as kind of the model uh, of what, you know, somebody who works very, very hard out of love for their community. And I try to highlight the great communists that I look up to. I talk about the, the elderly communists that I knew who were a Palestine baseball cap every day and was full of optimism and spirit uh, and was constantly distributing the communist newspaper. Um, and I talk about uh, various people I've known like Marty Goodman uh, who worked so hard to fight for Julian Assange uh, and how he didn't even live to see Julian Assange ultimately get his freedom but he was out there every day to support Julian Assange. And and that is what will live on you know after your, your death. In this world what will live on is the love that you show the, the passion and the dedication and the selflessness that you give to this cause. Um, and, you know, the Center for Political Innovation exists in able to, you know, help people find that love, that community, help people learn to serve each other and help each other. Uh, that's, that's why our organization exists and that's why we're facilitating it. Um, and if you want to find some of that love and some of that value that you will not get from some internet fandom, that only comes through being in a group and connecting with other people. If you want to find some of that, that's what our organization is here for. So I thought I'd play the Lei Fong song uh, in China in honor of Lei Fong. And I want you to think about, you know, how the dead are still speaking, the dead are still with us, and how you will speak after you pass. You know, how you will leave an imprint on this world through the love that you show and through the dedication and sacrifice that you can give toward making a better world.